Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up um, a quick entry and exit um, automated trading strategy using moving averages and um, signals for the exit. So, using the AutoTrader 1. So, I'm going to do it from scratch. I have here an NQ one minute chart, and I'll use this. So, I'll start by adding just few simple moving averages. So we're going to add three of them. There's one, two, three. Okay, now the first one and second one are going to be our entry moving averages. So let's set this to 30. Set this to 50. Let's make it, we can see it blue. Make it a little thicker. Set this one to blue also. Make it thicker. And this one we're going to, these two are going to use for entry. Okay, so when the fast one crosses, the slower one will enter long. And this one we're going to use for our exit. Okay, we're going to set this to a 10 period. Just leave it like that. Let's make it red and make it a little wider see what that looks like okay good so basically we're going to enter here on this crossover right whenever on this thing we're going to enter up here when these two cross over run 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 and we will exit when it closes below this red ma okay so it'll exit on the close of this bar here okay so we should see it exit somewhere down here all right so how do we do that first thing I'll do is add two crossover studies so for that I use the alert on crossovers so we're gonna have one and two the first one here ID 4 I'll use that to generate the entry okay so we want the this one this is our 30 crosses our 50 which is this one and we're going to do it when it crosses from below okay so we want a signal when it crosses from below and we'll see that right so we can see it here as an example right the 30 crosses the 50 from below we get an arrow that's that let's leave this make this evaluate on bar close and then we're going to do the same thing with this one okay this crossover we're going to use for our exit so we want to exit when the last price closes below the red moving average so this is the main price graph we're going to use the last price crosses below the red one which is number three and cross from above okay well let's set the cross from below we want it to cross from above okay so these are going to be our exits right so whenever price closes below or crosses below the red MA, we should have a down arrow. We would have our first down arrow here, which is where we would exit. So we have all that configured. Now we're going to add the auto trader to the chart. Okay, so go here. This is the auto trader. Okay, so we're just going to do a long trade. So I'm going to choose the entry, which is, is this one, right? The long signal ref is going to be pointing to the alert on crossover and we did a cross from below right subgraph two remember and we don't need to set this up we're just going to enter on bar close set that to yes and leave the rest as is yes okay the next thing we're going to do is we are going to exit on bar close yes and we're going to enable a long exit using the signal and we're going to give it the reference which one did we want so we have our alert on crossover the second one which is going to give us these green arrows and a cross from above and that's exactly what we want right click ok so now we have the auto trader here and everything is hopefully configured correctly the only thing that we have to do is set this to long only. Okay, this is very important to do whenever 
be auto trader. Whenever we don't set the signal ref, we leave it blank here because we're only going long. That's fine to do to leave this blank, but you need to make sure that this is set to long only, otherwise you'll have strange entries. So that's that. We can enable this. And you know what? Just for the sake of this example, let's also add some attached orders as protective stops. Okay, that's a common thing to do. It would have been that we would have added a stop that's far away from the market. Okay, so let's add a stop that's, let's say, more than 10 ticks. Although 10 ticks should be fine in this case. Let's put it 30 ticks away from the market, the stop, and let's remove the target. Okay, so we have basically a protective stop that's 30 ticks below. It'll never get hit, and it's not going to move. But our exit's going to be based off of the MA crossover. Okay, so we're going to use attached orders, and I think we should be good to go. So let's replay this one from here. Let's give it a little bit more so we can actually see it. Um, change this to, you know what, let's run it in standard. And... I think that should be okay. Let's see what we have up here. This is all configured. Yes. Yeah, that's configured fine. Okay, so here we go. The replay is at 30, so they should go rather swiftly. Okay, so I'm going to pause it for a second. We saw that we had our entry here. Okay, so we have the entry error and we entered at the close of this bar right there. And our initial stop is down here. This is our protective stop, which the attached orders has put on. And this is not going to move. Now, when price closes below this red MA, we expect to see an exit, right? So let's watch that. I'll bring it further into the middle of the screen and move this away. Yep. I'm going to slow it down, maybe. Okay, so we had our down arrow as the bar closed below the red MA, and then the auto trader flattened the position for us and removed our stop. Sweet. All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.